What's up guys, welcome back to Road to the Two Comic Club. Holy crap, today is starting off amazing. I'll post a screenshot of the stocks widget that I checked this morning. All green again, and um, I think pretty much all green. I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was all green. And check out the cryptos. So here's my balance right now with uh, with Binance up to $1,076. So definitely up on that. And I just logged into Scott Trade, but I haven't checked um, I haven't looked at it yet. I just logged in and quickly switched tabs. So here we go. Up oh, December statements are available. Damn. So we ended up at 174 yesterday. So we're up another 10 grand right now. And holy crap, Nvidia is up again, like nine dollars a share, I believe. So lots of gains with them. Man, I'm glad I held on to those calls. Jeez. And let's let's go to the watch list to see. Yeah, this is actually a, apparently I thought it was a pharmaceutical company, it's, but it's a Canadian marijuana company, one, one, one of the ones my friend Kevin told me about, and it is up, and the other ones he told me to add to the watch list, which I haven't yet, they're all marijuana stocks, and they're all up a ton, so I'm going to add those to the watch list real quick, and then I'm going to show you how they're doing. But check out, I mean, Universal Display and NVIDIA just killing it right now, and AMD. All right, one sec. All right, so I just added them to the watch list, but uh, two like here's one of them that was added five. They're up five percent today. I don't know anything about these companies yet, other than like they're in the marijuana industry, and I think they're in Canada. Um, so, but yeah, huge growth with them right now. Fourteen percent. That one's obviously a marijuana company. So yeah, I gotta look into those. But um, I got to do some editing. I got a lot of work to do still, and uh, I really don't have a lot of money to put into these stocks that I would like to put money into them because I'm cashing out the six grand to put into cryptocurrencies. And so I'm just hoping that, you know, the cryptos are growing just as fast as those weed stocks. So, um, yeah, hopefully we could still see some good gains there. And uh, we'll, we'll check back later in the market because it's just too it's just too hot right now. I could easily spend all day clicking refresh and getting nothing done and my goal in 2018 is to be way more productive. And so, yeah, so um, we're gonna come back around three o'clock and see how we do. What's up guys, welcome back to Road of the Two Comic Club and... Did I record earlier? Yeah. All right guys, welcome back. Um, I, saw, I know I said we're gonna come back around three o'clock, but I uh, got caught up. My friend came over to help me work on some stuff and we were just working and then I'm, um, I just kind of forgot to film, but um, it's almost 10 o'clock now, so let's just see how we did today. All right, so we did very well today, guys. Another five-figure day in the books, two days in a row for 2018. Uh, I, I'm really not real excited about the next few days because I feel like they're going to pull back. Um, it's just It's just been like a really hot start. And shout out again to Mr. Joseph. He also... He's predicting a pullback within the next few days, and so we'll see if he's right about that. Obviously, I hope he's not, but he's been right many times before. So I also do kind of agree, though, this time because the Nasdaq went up over 100 points yesterday, and it went up 58 points today. The Dow went up over 100 points yesterday. It went up 98 points today, and so um, it's just, yeah, it's just so hot right now. I don't know how much, how many more days in a row I could do this. Um, long term though, I'm, you know, obviously I think it'll keep going up, but just in, within the next few days, it could come back down. But anyways, let's look at our top gainers. NVIDIA had a phenomenal day and you'll see on the watch list, uh, how well they did, but them and universal display again on top, they were, our, and then Google was our top three performers today, but we had a bunch of them like Blackberry went up 50% for us today. That was phenomenal. That was our biggest percentage gain today. And then NVIDIA was our second highest, and then in terms of percentage, then we had like Square, which I forgot that I had these calls, to be honest. I thought I sold them all. And so <laughs> I'm not sure how it's going to work with the taxes, whether I'll still be able to write off that loss because I still own this one. I need to talk to my tax guy and see if, just figure that out. And I will report back to you guys for sure. Now our losers, we didn't have too many, but Intel definitely took a hit today. Uh, because of some news about a vulnerability in their Intel, like basically any computer who has an Intel chip. And yeah, I'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. But yeah, it's pretty scary, guys. You got to up keep those operating systems updated, keep those browsers updated, and change passwords often, I guess. It just sucks the world we live in with hackers. I really do hate them with a passion. But anyways, 
let's go to the watch list. We have five out of the six of our top performers were all marijuana companies. And yeah, it's just really, really worth looking into these. Um, if you're looking to diversify into that space, these could be some good names to check out. Uh, I haven't really researched them a lot yet. I just recently got turned on to them. But BlackBerry had a really good day. They were the third on the list. And then we have NVIDIA, Roku, AMD, Universal Display, Square, I mean Micron, uh, Domino's Pizza. A lot of the ones that we have, STM, and even GM is up there. So a lot, really good day for these. I'm real excited about these. Uh, I'm just hoping 2018 is just going to be a good year, especially with the tax bill going into effect. Yeah, so then here's the second page. We've got Adobe up there, so that's pretty awesome. Ferrari is up there. Nintendo still doing really well. Applied Materials was there. I mean, a lot of stocks went up today. You can kind of see on the list. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through this because I also have some crypto news to talk about. Well, a little bit, but um, just want to show you some stuff that I, I got on the current market cap. In fact, let's just look at that while we're here. My The Binance site is upgrading, or the system is upgrading, so I'm hoping that this means it'll be faster. There will be less delays with transferring, depositing, withdrawing, and all that stuff. Because um, I'm a little skeptical still just about having most of my money in one site. I am really hoping Bittrex starts opening registrations again because I want to get on there. They're a U.S.-based website where Binance is, I think, Chinese. And not that I don't like that, I just I just feel safer having my money spread around a little bit more. Um, and then there's other ones that I'm going to be looking to get into. But let's look at the coin market cap. And okay, so the logos are getting cut off here a little bit, so I apologize. But check out Ripple. This is probably the top headline right now. They just hit over three dollars today per Ripple. I don't know what you call it, what the, and like the actual token is, but they're up 31% today. These gains you're going to notice are really, really big compared to the stocks. So it's just like these things are, they go crazy. So, um, and then Stellar just overtook Litecoin on the list for market cap. And this is one that we do own, Stellar. We also own Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, and Litecoin, and IOTA. We own a lot of them on this list. And I would show you my list, but Binance is not working right now. So uh, I could show you guys again tomorrow. I'm going to be holding on to these things for a while anyways. But yeah, I mean, look at these gains. And then this one has 65% return. Cardano had 44%. Stellar had 45%. Um, so we got to enjoy some gains with that one. But yeah, and then look at Tron. I'm going to try to get into this one as soon as my money comes out of Scott Trade. I'm going to get I'm going to get it as fast as I can onto Binance and buy some Tron with that. Um, cause I really do want to get into that. I also want to get into Neo, I believe El Monero. I want to get into, I mean, I want to get into all of these, but not all of them I can buy on Binance. Uh, OMG, uh, my light just, oh my gosh. Okay. My light just went off cause I think my girlfriend's messing with me. <laughs> and then, uh, I want to get into Dogecoin. Thank you for turning the light on. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, let's see what else we got. Power Ledger. Dragon Chain, Red Coin. I want to get into, but again, I don't. don't I don't think you can get into that with Binance. I'm probably boring you guys by now, but the, a lot of these basically I've heard about, and I just kind of want to spray my money everywhere and just hope that one of them blows up, and then we can make a ridiculous amount of money. So here we go again. If you want to check out this list, it's CoinMarketCap.com. And with that said, let's just go back to me. All right. So the thing about Intel. Um, there's a big vulnerability, I forget what it's called, it's called Spectre and then Meltdown are the two vulnerabilities that were discovered and it basically allows hackers to somehow just basically get your personal information from your applications. I don't know the technicals behind it because I'm not real computer savvy with that, but they're definitely saying you should keep all your browsers up to date because they have released patches for it, Apple has, and um, uh, Google I think has released patches. And so if you're if everything's up to date, you shouldn't have anything to worry about, but I would just look into that. Again, it's Spectre, S-P-E-C-T-R-E, -E, and Meltdown. By the time, I hope by the time you're seeing this, uh, everything's okay. But and I apologize if you're seeing this late because I'm uploading late. But again, just keep just make sure all your stuff's up to date. Your browsers, Firefox, Chrome, whatever you're using, make sure you're using the latest version. Okay, so um, with that said, NVIDIA, I mean I, I wasn't really looking up to the news too much, so I'm going to check on that and, and come back. In fact, let me do that now. All right, so with NVIDIA, I was watching a guy doing the technical analysis, and he said he was pointing out that 
um, NVIDIA was testing its support. And I'm going to learn more about these technical analysis stuff with graphs um, in the future. But again, it really won't, won't, doesn't affect my trading. It's just kind of interesting to see how, how the stock is, how it's behaving. But anyways, NVIDIA had that 15% pullback and then it kind of stayed there. And it stayed, which they say is developing its base of support. And then it's starting to go back up again. So it's it stayed above its 50-day moving average, they said, the entire year of 2017. And so NVIDIA is just back on the rise, and what, what he said. And also Amazon, he expects to go up. And then Apple, he also expects to go up. And so based on his technical analysis. And again, three companies that I could have already told you that I like and that are good. But again, the guys with the charts, they kind of reconfirm that. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited about 2018. And with that said, I hope you guys are too. I uh, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And post any questions you have in the comment section below. And if you're getting into any cryptocurrencies, please comment those in the comment section below because a lot of, probably a lot of us who are watching this channel and me included, I'm watching, obviously watching my own channel, but, um, we're, we're new to this, the crypto stuff, and so if you want to impose any of your insight, uh, we could all talk together in the comments, and uh, I would appreciate that immensely. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow.